Now we're going to talk about creating a new post with Bridge. Here I am on my posts page and I'm going to click on add new. Over here, we see the WordPress Bakery Visual Composer. If you don't see it, then you should check out our video on how to set up WordPress Bakery for Bridge. Now I'm going to scroll down and here we see these meta boxes. So it says code general, code post layout, code header. These meta boxes were added by our theme. If you click on the box title, you can toggle the options. Now you might notice that the meta boxes that you see here, these are the same options that you will see when creating a new page. So these options here, these are local settings and they will apply to this post only. If you haven't seen our video on how global and local page settings work, you should check it out. That's where we explain how these local settings work in combination with the global settings. All right, now let's take a look at this section on the right side. Here we have format. Here you can choose the format for your post. Now we have categories and tags. You can assign your posts to categories and you can also add some tags. And over here we have featured image. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a featured image for this post. Now categories and tags, they're fairly straightforward. Now let's talk about the different format options. So by default, all posts are set to standard. Now I'm going to add some content to my post just to show you what a standard post looks like. I'm gonna add a simple text blog with some dummy text. Let's add a title for my post and let's publish this post. Now let's view this post. So this is a standard post. Here we see the featured image. Here we have the post title and this is the text that I added with WordPress Bakery. All right, now let's go back. Now I'm going to set the gallery format. In order to create a gallery, you will need to add a text block to your page. I'm going to delete this text that comes with the text block, and then I'm going to click on add media. Here I will click on create gallery, and I'm going to set some images for my gallery. Next I'll click on create a new gallery, and then insert gallery. All right. I'm just going to drag this gallery at the top of my page. Now, when I set the gallery post format, when I scroll down the page, here I see it says gallery post format. So this meta box appears when you choose the gallery post format, and it only applies to posts that are using the gallery format. So here you can choose the format for your pictures. It can either be a slider or a masonry layout. Now, if you don't see this meta box, you can scroll up your page. And here in the top corner, click on screen options. You can check the gallery post format and then this meta box will appear. So now let's save my page and let's refresh my post. So as we can see, we now have a gallery at the top of the post. Let's look at the remaining post formats. I'm going to choose link. I will delete my gallery because I won't be needing it. Now, when you choose link, you will see this link post format meta box. And here you can enter the link for your post. So I'm just going to enter a link. And I'm going to save my post. I'm going to refresh my page. So this is what the link post format looks like. If you click on the link, it will take you to the link that you had entered. Now let's choose the quote format. Here I see the quote meta box and here you can enter a quote of your choice. So I'm just going to enter some dummy text here. 
I'm going to save my post and then refresh my page. So this is the quote post format. Here you will see the title of the post is being rendered in the author field. So if you're using the quote post format, here for the title of your post, you should enter your quote author. All right, now let's choose video. Here for the video post format, you can embed a video from YouTube or from Vimeo, or you can also embed a self-hosted video. I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video. Here it says video ID. If you go to YouTube and you navigate to your video page, here in the URL, you will see it says watch followed by an equal sign. Now you will want to select everything after the equal sign and copy it. And then you will want to paste that in the input field here. So after saving this post, you will have a YouTube video embedded on it. Now let's take a look at the self-hosted option. For self-hosted, you will want to upload your video clip into your media library. And once you do so, you will want to enter the link to this video in the appropriate input field here. Now let's see an example of this. I'm going to navigate to my media library. So this here is the video that I want to embed. And here it says copy link. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back to my post. And here I will paste this link. Now here you will see three different input fields for the video clip. You can enter the link for a video in WebM, MP4 and OGV format. Now we recommend uploading your video in all three formats and then entering the links in the corresponding input fields. And we recommend this in order for your video to have maximum browser coverage. Over here, you can also upload a cover image for your video. All right, now let's go back and look at the remaining post format. It's audio. And here in the audio field, this is similar to the self-hosted video. You will want to upload your audio clip into your media library and then paste the link to that clip here in this input field. And once you do so on your post, you will see a audio bar with your audio clip. Now let's talk about the featured image a bit more. We've already seen that when we use the standard post format, the featured image appears on the post. But there are several different uses for the featured image. This image will appear on your blog listing pages. And also, if you're using a blog list shortcode on your page, this is the image that will appear. So let's see an example of this. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to add a title for my page. And here under template, I will set the blog large image template. So now this page will list my latest posts. So let's publish this page. And let's view this page. The page is now displaying my latest posts. So here at the top, we see the post that we just created a moment ago. So here we see the featured image. Underneath, we see the post title followed by the post excerpt. And underneath, we have a read more button. So if I click on the read more button, it will take me to the post. Now let's go back. If we take a closer look at this excerpt, here we will see the beginning of my post. So this is what I want to see here. But before that, we see some text that looks like code. And this text is added because we used WordPress Bakery to create the post. The excerpt field doesn't render WordPress Bakery shortcodes. So that's why it's displaying this code-like text. But there is an easy way to fix this. Let's go back to the post. In the upper corner, I'll click on screen options and I'm going to click on excerpt. 
Now down here, you will see an excerpt meta box and the text that you enter here will appear on your blog listing pages. So here I'm going to go ahead and enter some text. Now let's save my post. I'm going to refresh this page now. And we can see now that the excerpt field is displaying the text that I just entered. So the problem is now fixed. There is one final thing that I would like to talk about. I'm going to navigate to code options blog. Down here, you will see sections of the blog options that you can scroll to. So I'm going to click on blog single. And over here, we see options that apply to your post pages, or as we call them, the blog single pages. So these are global theme settings. The settings you apply here will affect all posts across your site. Here you will see some design options. You can also set a sidebar to appear on your posts. You can also have an author info box appearing at the bottom of your posts. So this video was about creating a new post with Bridge. I hope that you learned something new. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, you can ask us in the comment section.